Amateur pianists can make beautiful music. Last weekend was the final of the amateur pianists' competition in Paris. In their regular lives, they're doctors, clerks, people with ordinary jobs. For them, the piano is just a hobby. For Loïc Lafontaine, it all began here. Night after night, he practiced in his tiny Paris apartment, which barely had enough room for his electric piano. As amateurs, we don't need to do this. We want to do this. That's the difference. We do it for the pleasure it gives us. But still, it's paid off. The 35-year-old is one of the six best, and he has advanced to the finals. In a few hours, the competition will start. Loïc goes to his last practice. He takes the subway to his job, where he works in Paris's opera quarter. He's fortunate to work as the boss's assistant at a piano rental. Today, he's allowed to practice on a concert grand. Across the street, also near the opera, is a hotel where another finalist is staying, Peter Hiss from Lübeck, Germany. He interrupts his practice to meet us and to be a tourist in Paris for a few moments. Peter Hiss works as an ophthalmologist, but today the eye doctor is focusing solely on his music. Even so, he sees a link to his job. You have to make sure that you make as few mistakes as possible and that you finish the job. That's the case with operations, and in the first round of the competition, it was also like that. Peter Hiss constantly alternates between his work and his great passion, music, whether it's classical or modern. At music school, they quite rightly said to me, you're taking up two coveted student spaces, medicine and music. Now you have to make a choice. He chose medicine for practical reasons, but the music never let him go. There's one more practice session before the final. The hotel agrees to let the ophthalmologist play its piano. With just a few hours to go, how is he doing? Well, I'm exhausted. And he has stage fright, which is no wonder with this setting, the six finalists will get a rare chance to perform in the spotlight for hundreds of listeners and a tough jury. <laughs> Dr. Hiss's big moment has arrived. Meanwhile, Louis Lafontaine is getting ready backstage, waiting for his turn. So, how did it go for Peter? <laughs> well, not that great. It's a weird feeling to play in front of 500 people. It was a full house. After Louis Lafontaine's performance, the jury huddles for three hours. Okay, you know what? Lafontaine, cinq. Lafontaine, six. Lafontaine, à la In the end, a clear verdict. Louis Lafontaine. The French pianist takes home the prize of 3,000 euros. That's about $4,000. But the biggest payoff was the audience's applause.